Okay, so if you've been reading up on monotropism, you probably know it was conceptualised by Dinah Murray, Wen Lawson and Mike Lesser, uh, three academics who have been quite instrumental in our knowledge of autistic experience. The theory of monotropism posits that we have limited attentional resources, so there is only so much attention we can give at any one time, and because we're monotropic people, we prefer to funnel that set of attentional resources into a singular detailed tunnel. This is what people call hyperfocus. Because we funnel all of our attention into a singular point of concentration, we build up what people often refer to as autistic inertia. So imagine that your attention is kind of like a boulder rolling downhill. It picks up speed for the direction that it's going. And the further down the hill it rolls, the harder it is for it to change direction naturally or suddenly because it's just gathered so much momentum into that singular direction. So when we force ourselves to suddenly pull out of our hyperfocus, out of that singular attention tunnel, when we do this rapidly without a gradual transition, it's almost like a form of cognitive trauma. When we're doing this regularly, uh, Tanya Adkin states that we can develop something called monotropic split. And basically, this is where our brain is tr trying to hyperfocus on more than one thing at a time. Because we can't regulate how much attention we are giving to multiple demands. Our brain tries to hyperfocus on everything all at once, and it's too much. If you visit the link in my bio and go to the blog, there is further writing on the topic of monotropism from both myself and Tanya Adkin, and uh, I think you might find it helpful.